today we're going to be walking from Harlem to Houston Street, all in my Blissfield running shoes. Woo! Here we are at an iconic landmark of Harlem, the Apollo Theater. Our goal here today is to test out my Blissfield running shoes from Lululemon while taking in the sights of New York City with a few stops along the way. TikTok helped me to pick my outfit, so I'm also going to give a little behind the scenes on TikTok this morning. Thanks for joining me. Here we go. Let's go live. Good morning. <laughs> Everybody say hi to YouTube. And by YouTube, I mean my YouTube channel. <gasps> Hello. Say hi to Ryan. Before we get started on the journey, we're trying a local coffee shop called The Monkey Cup. The owners, Laura and Alfredo, moved to Harlem from Venezuela in 2013 and opened their first location at 145th Street. They wanted to create a jungle-themed coffee shop to remind them of home. So this is the croissant I got. It was a twist pineapple coconut, so like a pina colada croissant. Already the smell is just so good. I want more. We're halfway through and it is amazing. The pineapple is like twisted in and the coconut is still on top and it's almost like glazed on top too. It's so delicious. I love it. Ryan, you can't have any. This is the First Corinthian Church and it is renovated from being a movie theater. And from what I looked up, it is the first purpose-built movie theater or was the first purpose-built movie theater instead of being transitioned from a theater where they did plays and musicals. And then it was converted into a church. Yeah, like in the 60s and it's been this for a long time. Now we're all fueled up and caffeined up, time to start heading south. We're starting at the top of Central Park and walking down through the Upper West Side. There are so many fun paths to take in the park, whether you're a runner or just looking for a scenic walk. P.S. Thanks to everyone who joined my TikTok lives on this day. It was so much fun sharing it with you. So this is a walk, but I guess a little reality tour as well. When I first moved to New York City in 2014, I lived here for a year. After school, I got a visa to live here and I moved here, didn't know where to go, didn't have roommates. So I actually lived in a building right over there at the top corner of the park. And I rented a place there, um, a room in someone's apartment for a few weeks. It was just temporary rental, but I lived on Central Park West for a hot second when I first moved to New York City in 2015, 2014, 2014. I'm so excited to be doing this walk today because it's easy to just hop on the subway every day and not really realize how all the streets connect or what you might be missing on the way if you actually walked through a neighborhood. I just love looking at the buildings in New York City. I love the old architecture. It just makes me feel like I'm in Europe. If you ever live in New York City, a lot of people will tell you how annoying it is to take a crosstown bus. So if you live on the east side, and you do a lot of stuff on the west side, we're on the west right now, you would have to take one of those buses, potentially, if you were all the way up here. We're at 97th Street. So far, the Blitzfield running shoes are holding up. No discomfort and still feeling super springy and bouncy, even when walking on the cobblestones. This is a museum and uh, we can't go inside because it's closed today, but it's uh, pretty famous famous museum. It's the American Museum of Natural History. So is this the one that is night of the museum? Because it's got the dinosaur bones. Yeah, so very cool. I have been there before, but I've not been there in years. So uh, on a day where it's not closed, we should go, Ryan. I love Central Park. So there is this really cool mosaic right here that says imagine and what you saw before was the Dakota, which is where John Lennon was living when he was shot. Take a look. Just to give you some context here, this is where we started up in Harlem and now we're here at a Lululemon? You didn't think we'd do a video like this and not stop by a Lululemon, did you? This is actually New York City's newest Lululemon location on Columbus Ave. 
The staff actually shared with us that they opened this one because the other Lululemon in the area go. is closing soon. Hello. Lululemon's a lovely Yeah. <laughs> Classic, right? So it's basically a new location, but they're going to use a lot of the same staff. If you joined me live, you'll know that we took a look around the store while Ryan went for smoothies at Juice Gen. This was the day I tried the commission long sleeve for the very first time and fell in love. I wear it now with almost all of my dresses or skirts. The thing that shocked me the most is that it's stretchy. I guess I shouldn't have been so surprised with Lululemon, but anytime I've worn a shirt like this before, they're just so stiff. Ryan also tried on some things and I got to try on some items as well. There were some really great markdown items available, so I got to try the hold tight short sleeve for the very first time, and I snagged this one in Love Red. The store was smaller than I expected, but the selection was great here. We'll definitely be back if we're in the area. Hummingbird cupcake, bananas, pineapple, pecans, cream cheese frosting. So as you can see, I've already had a few bites of this, but let me tell you, it is amazing. There are two options for the frosting for the red velvet, if you like red velvet, and it's the red velvet cupcake with whipped vanilla buttercream, or, which I think is superior, the cream cheese frosting. Uh, Worth it. This is the hotel where Ryan and I stayed when we were here on our honeymoon. And funny enough, there used to be a Lululemon right here in one of these spots in this building, but I have not seen it in a few years. So I don't know when it closed, but it's Lincoln Center. That's where we are. So uh, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Lincoln Center, Lululemon. What happened? Here we are at Columbus Circle, which is 59th Street. So, so far we've walked 66 blocks. We're feeling good, but definitely need a break for the restroom and just a little time out of the sun. We wore lots of sunscreen today, but we took a second to reapply. I once saw a taping of Anderson Cooper's talk show in 2012, and this was actually the view from the studio above. So gorgeous. So we are walking. Now we just came from Columbus Circle. We're heading down to Midtown, and we just started to pass by this coffee shop, which I realized we have had their coffee from a Trade Coffee subscription delivery. So we've had their coffee, so good. We don't have time to stop today, we gotta keep going, but so cool. Let's go. And now if you've ever visited New York City before, you're probably gonna start to recognize some of the places on this walk. We've made it to Midtown, the home of Broadway, Big Lights, Times Square, and lots of tourists. Most New Yorkers hate Times Square, but I've always kind of loved the chaos of it. Unless, of course, you're in a hurry and you're stuck behind people who are walking slowly. I guess that's why New Yorkers would hate it. <laughs> if you're in Midtown New York and in a hurry, I'd recommend walking on a different avenue if you can, because walking through Times Square might add about 10 minutes to your walk time. And we stumbled upon Luke's Lobster, which is actually a favorite of Ryan's. He absolutely loves lobster rolls. And this is one we used to go to in the city kitchen location, which has been closed since COVID. And now we're down at Macy's. So beautiful, the display they have out right now. But we've got to hustle because we have been gone for a very long time and we've got to get moving. Here we are, we've made it to the West Village and what? There's bar three and Joe's Pizza. Had some of this pizza. It's good. It is really good. Let's go. And here we are in Washington Square Park. This is a pretty famous landmark, so you might recognize it here. And we actually ended up going back to an Irving Farm coffee shop. So got my iced coffee that I wanted and that was the best. Amazing. We did it. We made it. I am exhausted, but so fulfilled. Uh, my feet feel not so bad because we have been walking for hours <laughs> and I'm wearing the bliss feels. Honestly, they have held up. I only just started to feel maybe a little bit of, oh, I want to slow down in the last like 15 minutes, which is pretty impressive. So first of all, shout out to the bliss feels. I still feel like very bouncy and cushy and, and awesome. But uh, I had so much fun. Our camera just died as we tried to take this video. We are here, Houston Street. I can't wait to look back at the footage 
and uh, see what kind of crazy day we had. Ryan, do you have anything to add? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And if you attended my live on TikTok, I love you. That was so much fun. We talked about food, we talked about the city. It was amazing. And let me know what more content you want to see from me here on this YouTube channel. So till next time, cheers. We made it. Okay, let's go walk back now. Okay, babe? We're gonna walk, we're gonna walk back now, right? Okay, let's go this way.